Good morning, Grant. Hi, my name is Daisy Marie. And my name is Justin. Today is Wednesday, May 15th. And you're watching Paces Pace on Demand. Demand. Good morning, Grand High. My name is Luis, and today we're going to check out the Cinco de Mayo Posada. Let's go. I'm here with... Carmen Aon. Isabel Acosta. Maria Diaz Hernandez. And what was your role in organizing today's event? My role as Si Se Puede Club President was making sure that all of our um, organizations were put together. Um, we have different committees for, these, for this event, and we gather different... Um, things that we need so my role was basically promoting it around the community around so social media and making sure that our community was gathered for today and why do you think we will celebrate this day more than they do the actual day of independence so at grant we celebrate it more because um, when we took over as advisors it was already something that was in place so it wasn't that we added it it was already at grant high school so we just continued the tradition um, in the United States, they have used this holiday to commercialize um, and for alcohol, another reason to party. It's actually only celebrated in Mexico in one city, and it, it's not the Independence Day. Um, but if anybody at Grant would like to celebrate it more, um, the Independence Day in September, feel free to contact Ms. Diaz Hernandez, and we can do something, but it just takes students to want something for it to happen on campus. And in the future, do you think that to teach other people, you will celebrate the actual day of independence? Um, yes, in the future it's possible. However, it's so early in the school year that we won't have enough time to plan something similar to this because it takes planning. So just a reminder, uh, Mexican Independence Day is September 16th. And so it's, it's kind of, we're just coming in and trying to get the uh, club together. So it will be uh, a lot of work, but it's doable. If students have ideas, they can always bring it to the floor. And we can probably celebrate more of the, actually, Mexican Independence Day with uh, a student participation. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm here with... Juliana Dereza. Can you tell me what you've done to help organize for the event? Um, I was on the decorations committee this year, so I helped decorate the whole event, and I think it looks really nice if you ask me. <laughs> and how does Cinco de Mayo make you feel? Um, kind of conflicted because everyone kind of thinks it's Mexican Independence Day, but that's false. But you know what? It's a time to party, and I think we should celebrate. <laughs> All right. And what are your expectations for today's events? Um, hopefully it's a good turnout. I think it'll be a good turnout. I think it'll be fun for everyone who came. And I think that you should definitely come out to the next one next year. All right, thank you. I'm here with Diego Silva. And can you tell me what Cesar Puede has you doing at the moment? Uh, right now I was just cooking tacos. Um, it was really fun um, cooking it, a lot of heat. But it's, yeah, really nice uh, preparing them. We're putting on the tortillas um, and putting all the, like, the grasa, the oil. And yeah, we're doing that right now. And how does Cinco de Mayo make you feel? Um, I mean, the particular holiday doesn't make me really feel anything because it's not super significant to the Latino culture or Mexican culture. But I, I think it's, it's really um, important that we bring awareness just to our culture so that people know about it and they're just able to, like, um, enjoy the night. So, uh, yeah, I mean, Cinco de Mayo doesn't really make me feel any way, but, I mean, being every, having everybody here is, is just really nice. And what are your expectations for tonight's event? Um, definitely, um, everybody, if, if they can enjoy themselves, I mean, hopefully there's no altercations or anything, but... Um, definitely, so it's, um, everybody just enjoy themselves, everybody can dance, enjoy the tacos, obviously, um, you know, just enjoy themselves. I think it's really nice that everybody can just have fun. So. Thank you for your time. Thank you. We just got done interviewing the three committee members and some Cisa Puebla members as well. Have an amazing day, Pacers. Attention 12th graders, Senior Breakfast is in Main Ox Gym on May 29, 2019 at 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. Class advisors would like to know if the parents of the senior class would be willing to cater to the breakfast for them. If so, please let Ms. Faye know what you are bringing to make the menu. Senior Sun Splash will start around 4 p.m. on May 29, 2019. The pool followed by Senior Sunset where we'll take the senior picture 
We hope to have Kiki's at the pool on Senior Sunsplash. Don't forget that on May 17, 2019, at Fun in the Sun, we will be selling egg roll and snow cones, so I need seniors to sign up. Spring football has begun. If you are interested in playing JV or varsity football, please come see Coach Reed in room G1 or come to the stadium after school. Pacers on Demand is brought to you by the Grant Student Programming Network. My name is Daisy Marie. And my name is Justin. Have, Have an, an amazing, amazing day, day Pacers. Pacers.